Hey everybody, I am back again with another toy review. This time it is the Jack Specific Sonic the Hedgehog Cream Action Figure. Um, this is a really cute figure. They did a fantastic job. Um, the other day I reviewed Infinite. Uh, also in this wave is a re-release of Metal Sonic and uh, Modern Sonic with a skateboard, which hasn't been released before, uh, to my knowledge anyways. So let's get a little cream out of here. You can see it's such a tiny little figure in here, um, but it's super cute. So, uh, these are popping up at both um, Kohl's and uh, Walmart right now. So that is where you will find them. I haven't seen them at Target. So let's check out Cream's little ice cream first. Very cute, nice, nice paint job on this Jax. Um, it's pretty uh, rubbery. It's not a, a very hard plastic, so that is cool. Um, it looks like it's all one piece and it's just painted. I, at first I thought maybe the, the green piece of ice cream uh, was a separate piece of plastic. It doesn't look like it though. I, I thought maybe it was glued in at first. It still almost kind of looks like it, but you can't, I can't tell. It's just the way it's cut it's and painted so fine that I can't tell. But anyways, moving on from the ice cream, let's look at the action figure. Okay. It's in here. It's so tight. Wow, that was a really tight squeeze in there. So, let's see. Very super cute. Very, very super cute. Um, Let's see. The ears. Um... They're like an in-between type of plastic. They're not super rubbery and they're not hard. So that's good. You can kind of move them around a little bit if you want, put them behind the head and stuff. Uh, they're painted very well. They're actually painted on the underside also, which I couldn't tell on the packaging because you can't really see it that well. Um, eye paint is really good. Um, it looks like the mouth area and the eyes the white part of the eyes are a separate piece of plastic that are glued into the head um let's see whoa just trying to get away here uh, also the ears are they are a separate piece from the head um you can see they are there's a little bit of glue there on the ends of the ears um let's see her little collar is a separate piece of white plastic um her little um I don't know what to call that a tie, I guess. A little um, ascot or a tie, I'm not sure. Uh, that is a very soft piece of plastic and it is plugged in uh, to the skirt. Um, let's see. The uh, There is one mark on the top of the head of mine here. You can see it's a little scratch. I might have to try to match that paint. It's probably going to be difficult. It's a very odd shade of orange. Um, the eyeliner or outline of the eyes whatever you want to call it um and the eyelash are painted very nicely there's really no issues there mouth is painted very well also um well, let's see that a uh, little collar goes around into the back also i'm trying to see where it's plugged in at her head should pop off easily so most of these jacks figures are like that they're it's constructed into pieces. Yeah, this is really <laughs> glued in there. So, but you can see how it's a separate piece from the skirt itself. It actually looks like the skirt itself is a separate piece. I'm gonna see, it doesn't look like, she has underwear on, little gray underwear on underneath, but um, it doesn't look like the body rotates under there. Oh my goodness, her tail popped out. Or her tail, <laughs> is articulated also it rotates all around um not much to really do with it though it's just kind of a little nub <laughs> so that da, 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 da. try to get this now that i've popped the head off i can't get it back on goodness all right there we go so i wouldn't mess with the head too much as you've seen what i was doing there the uh shoulder joints are the typical type of joints in these figures uh she has absolutely no elbow joints um, which would have really been nice to do, but she doesn't really know. She has kind of short arms. Um, the hands are on a pig joint, per usual with this line. Um, I guess you could try to switch her gloves with other characters like Sonic and stuff. <laughs> She's going to have huge hands if you do that, though. Uh, both sides are the same. Um, she does have a, a hinge and a ball joint 
at her waist area, but is kind of hindered uh, by her dress. Um, seems like the knee joints are a little wobbly, uh, and I'm not sure if that had to do with me yanking her out of the box. She was very hard to get, she was really plugged in there. Um, let's see, I mean, it's a standard type of joint that these Jax figures have, uh, at least on the Sonic line. Um, the hinge on the knee and it rotates all the way around uh, both sides are the same then she has the plug joint in the feet here there's that uh the feet are actually let's say done in three parts so the white piece is a separate piece of plastic which is where the leg plugs into um then this yellow and orange piece it's all orange and it's painted yellow here but then you have the bottom of the shoe um, which is a separate piece of plastic, which is gray, and glued into the the orange piece. So that is very nice. I'm going to attempt to, there we go, snap. <laughs> Get that right back on there. And I want to see how well, oh, her little tail keeps falling out. They didn't, uh, whoa, this is uh, rumble tumbly here. They didn't really, I feel, give enough space for that. Uh, there we go. That snapped in pretty good. Seems like it falls out easily though. Um, I'm going to move my camera down real fast so you can see her a little better. Okay. Um, she is definitely cute. Very nice addition to the line because we've had so much of the same for a while like Tails and Knuckles and Robotnik and Sonic Sonic. Sonic Sonic Sonic. Um, so it's nice to get new characters like Cream. Um, there you go. She can hold her ice cream very well. Um, you can have her, like, licking it, I think. So, whoop. She can hold it. She's like, nope, not doing that for you. There you go. You can hold it up. All right, she's not, she's not working. She's not cooperating with me here. <laughs> it's cute, though. It is definitely cute. So you can kind of have it look like that, and then you can have her, like, waving hi to whoever. Um... Let's see, and it says on the bag here, Cream is a pure, well-mannered, and loyal friend to everyone she meets. She can traverse obstacles by using her large ears to fly and defeat enemies with the help of her cuddly, uh, uh, K.O., or Cheo, I don't know, I keep saying that wrong, anyways, uh, companion, Cheese. Um, it's weird that they didn't include Cheese with this, um, would have fit in well because this is not a very big figure, but anyways. Um, chow, that's it, it's chow. <laughs> I remember somebody corrected me on that before, goodness. Anyways, I apologize for saying it wrong again. Um, but yeah, loving this line. Jax is doing such a great job. I think I think most people agree with that, that uh, are Sonic fans. I think these are pretty, uh, pretty much the best Sonic figures I've seen from anyone. Um, I've seen them over time, like back when, like who else, like Jazz Wearers and goodness, uh, Resaurus, I think that's what their name was that made Sonic figures, that was so long ago, um, but yeah, these are definitely really nice, um, I don't have any other Sonic figures with me right now to compare the height, but, uh, you can see my hands here, <laughs> she's, uh, definitely, definitely a nice little figure, um, would have made sense to, to have, uh, cheese with her though. I mean, that's her little buddy, so... Uh, but that is about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble about a toy. Anyways, until next time, have a good one, everyone.